My wife got pregnant because of her illicit affairs and told other people that I was a deadbeat for not being in childbirth, so I made a jaw-dropping post and revealed her lies to the world. My wife Cynthia, 40, got pregnant against my will after we had discussed and agreed on not having any more kids, we already have four. I was scheduled for a vasectomy. She claimed she was on the pill but I was using condoms because I wanted to make sure nothing happened. I had my vasectomy, but she was pregnant a few weeks later. She was overjoyed and I wasn't. I didn't want to be an old dad. She claimed the pills didn't work. I never pushed for her to get surgery because I know it's harder for women, and she said injectable contraceptives hurt her health. I checked all my condoms, and all of them had been pierced. We had a huge argument that ended with her crying. My trust has been destroyed. I assume that nothing she says is true. She also got fired when she was three months pregnant. I found it weird that she didn't fight it. Then she said she needed to stay home, which I dreaded. She said morning sickness was too bad to go to work. For 18 years of marriage, she has pushed to be a psalm. We can't afford it. She gave me the silent treatment for weeks after our second was born when I said she needed to find a job. I never heard the end of it, as she calls it, when I made her leave our baby and sent her to get a job, like I had ripped her away from our kid. I got suspicious thinking that perhaps she had resigned and was lying. I know it's wrong, but I got into her phone. Long story short, she had a workplace affair, and she and her AP both got canned. She slept with him during her training out of state and eventually scheduled every assignment out of town to cheat on him. He is in his late fifties, married. She also slept with my cousin's son, Nelson, 29. I saw and heard messages between them. He would come to my house when I was out. I have asked the neighbor and they confirmed. My neighbor said Nelson would show up sometimes two days in a row when I was out. I checked my schedule, and it could have been when I went to Ohio for three weeks. I came home on weekends, but everything seemed normal. What's worse is that Nelson calls me uncle. I let him stay over a couple of times. She also used our own kids as leverage, promising that he could see them if he didn't pressure her and kept his mouth shut. So she obviously put him in some type of a stepdaddy role. She told him the pregnancy was his baby. I hate him, but I think she manipulated him because he has zero relationship with his parents or his siblings, and he kept texting her about how she was like home to him. I lost it and woke her up. She tried to claim that she was essay by both men, then said she was pressured into it because they threatened her. I confronted both men. I reached out to her ex-co-worker via social media, but he blocked me after a couple of exchanged messages. Nelson did get belligerent, and it could have probably ended in a real fight if I had him in front of me. Anyway, the paternity test came as negative. I moved out and got a lawyer. I refused to be at the hospital during childbirth. It was a stillborn. I was shocked. Even if it wasn't mine, it felt dark and strange. I offered my kids emotional support but didn't allow her to cry to me. I had to get a court order to get a DNA test on all our kids, they are mine. A few weeks ago, people on Facebook started asking questions and attempting to call me out for not posting anything about the baby. I think she might have told someone that I wasn't present at childbirth because a couple of people came at me. We are getting a divorce, and I'm very angry that she's still trying to milk it. I told each person the truth separately but eventually got fed up with looking like the bad guy and wrote a post saying thank you to everyone who has reached out to insult me, but the baby was not my child as per the paternity test. It had to step away from social media because of it. Her family called me, asking me to take it down. They didn't know the full story but said, this is not how things get solved. I'm not. Deleting it despite being called out for s-shaming. While I worked my ass off for our family, she was texting her best friend and complaining about how I'm not the shadow of my former self, how I look old and let myself go. Her friend responded angrily, but they were not on speaking terms anymore. Cynthia claimed that her friend ghosted her and didn't know why. I'm suing for custody since she repeatedly took my kids across the state so that Nelson could hang out with them and left them with her dad before I came home from work so that she could go do work stuff and have intimacy outside of our marriage. She had been begging me not to ever tell the kids about the paternity test, but they needed to know the truth before she twisted the narrative. My daughter won't speak to her, and our second child wants to come live with me. I'm sick of crying sporadically because sometimes I'm driving and can't hold it in. I had a family, and despite everything, I was proud and happy but she took it away. I didn't know she saw me as less. At least her friend defended me, although we are not close. My lawyer says we should contact her as a character witness. I hate Cynthia, and I told her during her pregnancy when she wanted to initiate intimacy. She's naturally overweight and I loved her as such, but I hated the knocked up by the AP version of her. I told her she looked grotesque, like Jabba the Hutt. Her lawyer is pushing for family counseling. I would only agree to civil co-parenting, but nothing oriented at the couple's reconciliation bullshit. She calls it a mistake, but to me, she bred via infidelity and created an entire human being, and I will never forget that. All I want is to get out of her life and I feel like she's trying to keep me from moving on.